Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial in NX. In this tutorial, we are going to model this machine component using NX. While modeling this component, always do material addition feature first, then do the material removal features. First, I am going to start with this base plate, then extrude up to the length of 71. After creating this base plate, I will create this support plate, C zip support plate. Then after creating this support plate, I will create this cylinder here. So this three is the material addition features. Then we'll go for the material removal feature of this hole with a diameter of 25. And there is a four holes with a diameter of 12 here. And here we have a cut with a 12, 25 mm length and 2 mm height. After creating this, We just want to make a round, a couple of rounds. Here we are, we just want to put a round with a radius of 10. Similarly here and here and here. Now we'll model this component in NX. After modeling the component in NX, it will look like this. This is the final model. Now we'll recreate this model step by step, one by one. Step by step. Go to the file, new. Our units are in MM. So make sure you are in millimeter, model, specify the location, just say OK. Now for easy drawing the model, I am just keeping the sketch in the left side and software in the right side. Now we will start sketching. First we will start drawing this model, then we will mirror this model right side. Go to the sketch. Take the front plane, just say OK. Take simple rectangle, make sure you are in the corner rectangle. Put on rectangle here and press the roller to confirm. Now we just want to specify the dimension. The total length is 10 plus 25 plus 10. Just click here, you will get the dimension. Just click it here. 10 plus 25 plus 10 plus enter. Here you just give no. And just know it. This is 45. Press the roller to confirm. Now the height we need to specify. The height is 12. This one is make the center 12 and press the enter and press the roller to confirm. Now we have specified this sketch. Then select this sketch. Here you can see mirror and select the center line as this one. Just OK. Now we have mirrored the sketch. The center distance, I mean, from this end to this end is 166. Now just select this point. Select this point. You will get the dimension. Just double click this dimension. Edit it. 166. Press enter. Press the roller to confirm. Now we have created the sketch. Just finish the sketch. Here extrude. Make it to symmetric value. The total extrusion length is 71. Press enter. Now inferred. Just save OK. First hide the sketch. Now, now we have created these two plates. Then we will create this, this feature. Further just go to the sketch again. Front plane. Just save OK. Take a profile line here. Make sure you are in the within part or part only. This point vertical line here. We just want to make a just press the roller just back again. Line we are in select this line. Put your vertical line, then connect the line with this point. Press the roller. Similarly, you just put a line. Select this point. Here. And here. And here. 
and here and here press the rollout to confirm and again press the rollout to confirm now we need to specify the total dimensions press the roller again now thickness we need to specify the thickness everywhere it is 10 mm select this line and select this line we'll get this thickness double click here this value is 10 press the roller to confirm again select this line and select this line you will get the dimension make 10 you edit it again here and here it is 10 press the roller to confirm now we just want to specify the total height here you see from this point to this point it is 43 now just select this point select this line double click here this is to make it 43 press the roller now we just want to specify the arc take the fillet from here to here it has a radius of 15 from here to here it has a radius of 6 and again here to here it has a radius of 6 and here to here it has a radius of 15 press the roller to confirm this one you make it like this this one you make it like this now see all the dimensions are we have specified it just finish the sketch extrude make it here as symmetric value and total extrusion length is make it 61 press enter just save ok and hide the sketch now this object is created separately now we just want to make to unite it with the object for that select this unite select this body and select this body just apply now you see the complete object is united now we will go with the next feature of the cylinder for that go to the sketch select the surface keep this point here just say ok now take the circle origin point or datum point it's showing select it here select it here press the roller to confirm now the diameter of the circle is 50 just edit this value as 50 press the roller to confirm and finish sketch go to extrude the total extrusion length is 25 press enter just save ok now we have created this we, now we have created all the material addition feature now we will go with the material removal feature first we will start with this slot go to the sketch select the surface keep this point here just save ok now take a corner rectangle here make sure you are in within part or part somewhere here and finish it here press the roller to confirm now the height is they specified as 12, 2 and width is 25 so click it here this one is 2 just make it no press the roller to confirm and this length it is 25 press enter again press the roller to confirm now we need to specify the dimension 10 mm from this point to this point it is 10 press the roller to confirm this is automatically it will be 10 now just go to here finish sketch extrude change the direction make make here and un, until next just say ok hide this these two catches now this feature has to be mirrored in this direction select this one select this x to 9 then we need to go for mirror feature 
the select the feature we have selected now we need to specify the plane this plane just say ok now it has generated this side also now we will go for this holes just select the sketch select the surface just say ok now just put a line somewhere here vertical line make this line as a vertical and make this as a construction line here they specify the center point is 20 mm from here so select this line and select this line this distance is 20 plus center and we have two circles Let's take the circle one is here another one is here both the circle are equal make these two are equal and specify the diameter is 12 mm here they have given just 12 press the roller to confirm now we need to specify the center distance from here to the center distance is 20 This distance is 20, press, press the roller to confirm and uh, from the center point to the center point distance is 25, press the roller to confirm. Now we have defined all the dimensions, finish the sketch, extrude, just change the direction, here we make it until next, subtract, just say ok. The same has to be mirrored in this direction also, in this, in this plate also. For that, select this extrude 12, go to the mirror feature, the object is already selected. Now, go to the specific plane, choose this mid plane, just say OK. Now, we have created holes here also. Now, we just want to create a hole here. For that, just select this standard hole, keep your cursor on the edge of the circle. Automatically, it will go to the center. The diameter is 25 and make it to throw the body and subtract. Just say OK. Now we have finished this much. The finally, we just want to create a couple of crumbs for that. Use the tool called Edge Blend. Select this edge, select this one, this one, and this one. All the edges with the radius of 10, just say OK. Now go to the Orient view, isometric view. All the features are created. Just rotate your object to just check any features are missing. If it is missing, we just want to edit it. Now we have finished the object to change the appearance or color of of this model just go to the display here there is an option called edit this object display select the object just say ok here there is an option called color just click this color whatever the color you want to apply just choose the color i just want to apply this color just say ok then apply it the color will be applied to the model just say ok like that way we can apply the color in this tutorial we have marked learned how to model this component if you like this video please share to your friends for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you for watching my videos thank you